What's up guys, how you doing? Thank you very much for checking out the video and welcome back to my channel. My name's Alex and this channel's all about my journey trying to learn and develop bushcraft skills. It's been just over a year, I think it's 13, 14 months maybe since I launched Colo Craft Bushcraft and I wanted to make my first video in 2021 to A, mark that occasion and B, say a massive thank you to everyone who has supported me over the course of the last year. All of you guys, anybody who's watched the video, subscribed, shared my content, whatever it might be, thank you so much. It genuinely means a massive, massive amount to me. Um, I also want to say a particular thank you to Dave, Irish uh, and Andy C, the boys who've come with me on various camping trips uh, and who have really helped launch my channel. Uh, thank you boys for coming with me. Thank you for making the trips as fun as they were. Thank you for trying to keep the swearing to a minimum. Uh, and thank you for, uh, for agreeing to be on film. Um, I had so much fun over the course of the last year with you guys and I can't wait to do more trips in 2021. Thank you so much. Um, so that being said, uh, I put this little video together as a kind of a, a highlight reel of some of my favourite moments over the course of the last year. Uh, I really feel as though I've evolved a lot over that time. You know, when I started the channel, I knew a little bit about bushcraft, but didn't have any kind of real world experience. Um, here I am a year later, having done some courses, having done some trips, uh, and I'm now a certified level two bushcraft instructor. So I feel as though I've achieved quite a lot over the course of the last year as well. Uh, and as I said, I wanted to, to mark that occasion uh, with this little video. So um, I'm gonna shut up now and I'm gonna run the clips. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, I really, really hope you have an amazing, amazing 2021. Uh, Happy New Year to all of you. May it bring you everything you could possibly want or desire. Uh, and I will see you very, very soon um, in another bushcraft video. Cheers, guys. Okay, so here we are. So this is the first part of the first knot, which doesn't actually look all that complicated, I don't think. So it seems to go wrap it around your hand, twist your hand over, pull the thread through, and then pull it tight against the tree. All right, uh, let's see if we can figure it out. Okay, first knot seems to be nailed down and is pretty much the same. If I can get that in focus, which I don't seem to be able to, which is very upsetting. Uh, just trust me, it looks, uh, looks just like the book. So, yay me. Okay. Better. All right. Wish me luck. Straight arm, okay, so straight arm from the back. Oh wow, okay. Maybe bite a little bit more. Maybe I did that too much. Alright, that has not worked. sticks are too thick, so uh, let's reset and try again. Okay, maybe I was a little bit too ambitious with the types of sticks I've had on before, so I've taken away lots of the thicker ones and I've just tried to leave the really thick ones on. Um, so we'll try again. Here we go. Okay. Okay.
you didn't bring a. I didn't even anything. bring a roll mat or anything. I've got a secondary tarp which I'm going to fill with foliage. I'm going to fashion myself a mat. <laughs> okay, well, that'll be beat. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! He's bitten. And mine. walk into my own guidelines. Yeah. So whoever has three of diamonds is the first person to make. I'm going to say, that's not me. Uh, then it must be the... <laughs> Damn it! I can't say that! <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> what, your, your sausage is really fast. Yes. And I took it out and put it straight in my mouth. <laughs> Did it finish well? <laughs> it left it left a little a, a, bit a, of a very taste. pleasant lingering taste. Mm. Touch of spice. Then I'll take it There you go, you can sponsor Dave. <laughs> yes. yeah. I don't endorse anything he just said. <laughs> <laughs> Not a damn word. <laughs> <laughs> In no way was any of that right. It did not necessarily reflect my opinion. Or the opinion of anyone working within Codocraft. That is, <laughs> that is, that is quite a Irish tan. Sunburn, that is an Irish tan. Yeah, baby. Part of that. That'll colour up nicely. Especially considering we actually put we put a lot of sun cream on. A lot of sun cream. Well, we I put did some sun cream. cream on. I didn't put any on my arms. Oh, you didn't? No. So I deserve that fully. It's almost like picking up a pot I mean, out of a fireplace. It's just stupid. <laughs> so you deserve what you get. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Peace. Say goodnight, Irishman. Peace. <sighs> oh no, it's gone flying. But, but, look at that. God, oh, I hope you can see that.
Vai dar Jack? Ah, vai dar Jack. Oh, Zach is there. Bonjour, Jack. Mas isso é a Raya Jack. Bonjour, Jack. Oh, it is the. Oh, madame.
I'm having a rest. Oh. Woo. All right, guys. So we're up here at Wharton Tor. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've no, no idea, really. This is the highest point of our little trek today. Probably the highest point of our entire walk, actually. Uh, and it is lovely up here. Oh, what do you think? Well, I'm glad we're here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still alive. He's not murdered me again. So, bonus. I think we're just going to chill out here for a minute, get a drink of water, and then we're going to head down to our camp. So I'll catch up with you guys again when we are there. Plus I can use the big camera to film me sitting down and doing absolutely nothing. Wait. Well, ladies and gents, we have made it to camp. Finally. Oh my word. From the top of Wharton Tor to here. Jeez. That was that was tough. Oh, it was exhausting. It was really, really tough. Oh. But we're finally here. It's about five o'clock maybe. So we're probably here about half an hour to an hour later than I had hoped for. But we've probably got an hour left of sunlight, hour and a half. So to be honest, all we're gonna do now is set our tents up, eat food and go to sleep. Because <laughs> we are exhausted. So I'm probably not gonna film a huge amount tonight uh, just because, well, there won't be anything to watch because I'm so tired. Um, terribly exactly, so I'm just gonna, yeah, set the camp up and then I'm gonna turn the camera off. Um, but I'll get back with you tomorrow morning when we wake up, when we set off on the next part of our tour. Tomorrow morning, I'll show you around what the camp looks like properly because it's a really, really nice spot and we've got a lovely, lovely view. Um, so I'm really happy with it. It's nice and sheltered from the wind as well. Although the wind's died down just as we've got here, which is amazing. So yeah, it's time, time to set the camp up, eat food, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. I need a cup of tea so badly. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Right. Let's do it. Tent setting up. Oh. Come on. I'm gonna have to have a mouthful of trail mix. So hungry. I think I might have a soup to warm me up before dinner. Starter, starter, and man. Look at you. I can give you some chocolate if you want dessert as well. You can have a three course. I've got some peanut M&Ms. There you go. I've got peanut M&Ms. <laughs> I'm so happy. Right, so I'm all squared away with camp. Irish is getting there. Pretty much done. He's got his stuff to go in the tent. Uh, I'll just show you inside mine very briefly. Here we go. So, as you can see, I'm all set up. Plenty of room in here for me and all my gear. So I'm very happy with that. We are nicely sheltered uh, behind all the rocks and stuff here. So I'm not too worried about the wind. Uh, if it does get crazy then well don't know what we'll do. <laughs> Panic probably but I'm sure it'll be fine. So um, as I said before the only thing that we're going to do now is cook up some dinner um, and relax and probably get to bed quite early. So, um, yeah, we are. <laughs> so I will say goodnight to you guys now. Uh, as I said in the morning I will Take the big camera around and I'll show you the uh, the product campsite properly. Hopefully the weather's going to be fairly nice again tomorrow. So we are looking forward to day two. We. Oui. That means yes for anybody that doesn't speak French. He doesn't need a we. Oui, he's saying yes. As far as I know, anyway. Oui. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we will uh, see you tomorrow, guys. So good night. 
Uh, just opened my first beer of this evening uh, and it tastes amazing. So I'm gonna cook up some food and I will catch you in the morning. That was a really rambling, really rambling way to end up this, uh, wrap up this day, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah, it didn't really make much cohesive sense, but. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a long day, man.